Uh, hi, I'm John Brooks. And um, as a thing would have about a uh, certain group of mostly writers and uh, one or two artists who in from the best period from 68 through 71 um, uh, were involved in producing a number of poetry events, street works and performances in a variety of New York venues, this being one of them. Um, the exhibition will be called Off the Page because several of us were trying to, for various reasons, move poetry off the page and into life and into the streets. Um, the chief players in this little cadre were uh, Hanno Wiener, Scott Burton, Vito Hannibal Acconci, which is what he called himself then, uh, Bernadette Mayer, Edward Costa, and myself. Um, so to be to be a little academically, uh, the way we've decided, uh, described these various genres are in the following ways. Poetry event, language-based performance with or without the spoken word, usually but not necessarily presented in a recognized poetry <coughs> reading venue. Street work, announced or unannounced artwork, performance or poetry event that takes place in the street, that takes place in the street, identifiable, identifiable by the public or not. Performance, non-matrix theater by an artist or poet, poet usually in a gallery, museum, or a dance, or a theater venue, usually more complicated than a fluxus event and more structured and conceptual than a happening. And Hannah, of course, did and worked in all three of these genres in this early period of her very productive life. And I'm very excited to see in this new book some of those works are, um, um, uh, are published. <coughs> Hannah Wiener actually came up with the first street work in, I think it was 1967. I came up with the name, but the street work was her, she was something she initiated and took place in front of her loft on the block on West 28th Street, which was then the fringes of the Flower District, if where we New Yorkers know what that was. And the participants in that particular event were Hannah, myself, and a poet by the name of Michael Benedict. Hannah Wiener hired two Coast Guards in uniform to perform one of her flag code pieces. Stationed at each end of the block, they signaled each other with flags. And I don't remember the exact text, but I did find a um, flag code poem in a magazine called Extensions, published in 1968. And I'll try to give you an idea of what it was like. Of course, I'm not wearing my Coast Guard uniform tonight. And these are not real Coast Guard flags. <coughs> They're actually dishcloths. <laughs> <laughs> there is some meaning in that. Everything does have a meaning. So I'll try to do this. Now, the, 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 the poem, as it's published in this magazine, comes with several layers of coding, one of them which is little stick figures waving the flags. Of course, it's, I discovered it's the mirror version of what I have to do, and this is one of the worst things in life for me, is to get around that. I'm totally uncoordinated. But I'll try anyway. It's very brief, and they're actually very poetic, and they're somewhat like the ones I think she did that, that fateful um, day in 1968. So let me see, left hand, okay. First one, first section, this is Juliet. This is Charlie, and this is Hotel, and it supposedly means, let no boat come alongside. <laughs> now, I, oh, I better hold on there. Um, this is, let's see, Juliet again, Delta. I hope there's no Coast Guards in the audience, I'm sure I'm getting this wrong. And Kilo right hand down. And that spells out, I shall fire into the boats if they persist in coming alongside. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, Juliet again, each one of these begins with Juliet, um, Charlie, and Tango. These are the, letters, are the letters of the alphabet, I think. And that spells out, boat coming, boats coming, which is very mysterious to me. 
But I guess they see one boat and then many more are coming. <laughs> and then Juliet, Charlie again, and left hand side down, and up. Victor, <laughs> boat is on board, is alongside. Ah, they did it. <laughs> And I was trying to find the four photographs of you, and was taking forever. And uh, so I found Higgins and wearing my summer hat. Um, these are some of the poet friends that formed the community. You wanted me to help you look taller for the cold poems. So we had a conference, and um, I thought maybe white nurses' shoes would, would do that. Oh, there's brackage in a bond. Um, the other idea was to just stay nautical, uh, keep it all white. That's Jane Cole. Brackage, what a name. Uh, Levi and Feather. I don't know if Levi knew Hannah, but he certainly fought for her work. Um, so the nautical aspect, that was going to work. Then I needed your help for the Meet Joy event in 64. We couldn't be naked, and there was that busier possibility. Oh, there's Allison. And you know, I don't remember the guy. Does anybody recognize him? <laughs> Uh, but here are familiar poet faces, right? Um, so, the connection to Maiden Form was just there waiting for us. And you told me what sort of uh, puling letter to write, how we would give them great publicity. And uh, there's Jackson in the middle at a Jim Tenney concert. And Jim Tenney at his concert. So, yes, indeed, Maiden Form responded, and we got a wonderful box full of. Uh, beautiful uh, semi-brasiers, probably designed by Hannah. Uh, we play, and uh, the Rothenbergs are here, right here tonight, too. Um, the other thing we really wanted to do was to have a time that wasn't so lonely and involved in politics and diet. Oh, sweet. I, I just had a thousand slides to go through now. And, uh, that's Fritz. Nobody knows Fritz. <laughs> Something secret of mine. <laughs> so, there's Clayton and Carol Eshelman, and that's Anthony McCall, and uh, somebody else. So where was I? Ah, oh, we had all those visitors. That was perfect. And we wanted to have a time together where we weren't talking about politics or chemical poisoning and how the muscles would respond to um, to uh, DDT and uh, uh, Bruce McPherson and some animals. <laughs> uh, now, who is that? Uh, it's 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 all 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 yes, it's Anson from Colorado and uh, Jane and her kitchen at her summer house near a beach. And I don't remember where it was. Does anyone remember? In the 60s, uh, a lovely little house and being so gracious and that we were going to have so much fun. Hannah said, Yes, of course you can bring your cat, and uh, my cat, my cat's name was Kitch, and her cat's name was something like, anyone remember the name? Her cat was gracious and charming with mine, and there's two old cats, and my cat was gracious and happy and charming with hers, and uh, we were having just that perfect time, and we gave each cat special milk, and it was late, we smoked some dope, turned out the lights, and we all went to bed. And it was peaceful and quiet near the beach, and um, suddenly there was a great crashing noise. And the lamp went over, and the glass shattered, and uh, the two charming domestic cats were, 